memorial honoring veterans of World War II was taken down to make way for construction of the Newport Pavilion. Well, after eight years of work, the community gathered on this Veterans Day to rededicate the memorial. Good morning, Cincinnati's Tiffany Wilson takes us to the ceremony. No amount of gratitude can repay those who gave their lives defending our freedom. No amount of comfort can quell a family's grief. What was it like growing up without your father? It was difficult because you always longed to know who he was. Today, though, a step to rectify a casualty of commercialism. The coat brilliant World War II Veterans Memorial is now back on public display. It was an eight year process. The memorial, first erected in 1946 at St. Francis de Sales Church, was taken down to make way for the Newport Pavilion. Tom Gadouli worked tirelessly to find it a new home. There was always somebody saying, hey, let's get this monument done, let's get this rededicated. His uncle's name is on the memorial. So is Captain Harry Vals. Val died when his plane crashed. It was 1945, I believe, early in 1945, in England. He was in the uh, Army Air Force flying B-17s. He was a bombardier. Val left behind nine-month-old twin daughters. Today, they brought their children and grandchildren to the rededication ceremony. If I had pneumonia, I'd be here. I, you can't miss something like this. I mean, we have to represent our father. I just appreciate what they've done. This is beautiful. And donations by Target, Kroger, Anchor Associates, and the City of Newport made this memorial rededication possible. In Newport, Tiffany Wilson, Local 12 News. And seven men from the Newport neighborhood of Cote Brilliantly, uh, Cote Brilliant died while fighting in World War II. And you can see the memorial at the corner of the pavilion. It's right between the 471 overpass and Target's parking lot.